Ready. There it goes. Here are two very prominent reasons why trading in gold, silver, platinum, copper, any metal, any gemstone, diamond, ruby, emerald, sapphire, d doesn't matter what it is. But here's two really, really important reasons why it just does not work. Number one, this is the biggest one, history. Take a look at every example throughout history. How a system was started on gold or silver or platinum and how it inevitably failed. Just look at how America copied exactly verbatim what happened in ancient Rome or Greece. Second reason this one is should I use the word conjunctive? Nah, it sounds like too much of a smart ass. This one is interwoven into the first reason. Greed! You're gonna have different jackasses bartering at different price values. Quite simple. They're always gonna want more and give less. It's, uh... How am I going to word it? It's not endemic. It's pandemic to the human species. The hoarding ideology. Greed. Always wanting more. Driven by ego. How else can I say it? It's psychosomatic because... Greed. How else do I say it? It's that simple. And there are... Because I'm not going to take the time to count them. I have no idea how to quantify if it's thousands or millions. Let's just say for me, there are an uncountable number of examples. Of greed. And not... Not in far back history. I mean, you can look back a couple of weeks and you can see massive examples of how greed is reigning supreme globally throughout the entire human species. And I'm not talking about the stock market. You can just look at anything. Look at anything that anyone places any sentimental or psychological or emotional attachment to and says it has value and look at how greedy they become over it it's that simple and it's that recent and it's continuous it's ongoing it never stopped those are the two biggest reasons and examples of how any form of currency or money will inevitably fail. And it's not for lack of trying not to fail. It's quite simply because... <laughs> well, those are the two reasons. It's kind of a circular logic. But that's how self-sustaining logic works. And if you view it properly, you'll see it's a big spiral circling the drain. Like America's economy right now! And yeah, that, that was satire and parody. That sentence. Not this whole video, but just that one sentence. If I were to drag this out and try to pad out the runtime just for the sake of getting into YouTube's bullshit algorithm, th that would be pointless. So this is the end of this video. Till next time, bye.